Kudratikwa Makstu is a community located along the coast of Hudson's Bay in northern Quebec. It is the only Inuit and Cree community residing in the same location with two governing authorities. The language and culture practices from both peoples are rich and strong. A unique place indeed. Since time immemorial, the Cree and Inuit have lived off the land and survived many struggles, such as the threat of starvation and the harsh cold winter. When the Hudson's Bay Company set up a trading post, the Cree and Inuit would gather there. Eventually, it turned into a community where both Inuit and Cree called home, the Great Whale River. <laughs> Today, both cultures continue to thrive along with having their own police services, fire departments, clinics, schools, and municipal services. In the 1990s, Hydro-Quebec and the Government of Quebec were commencing the James Bay II project, which would see the damming of the Great Whale River. The people needed to act in order to save their river that had sustained them for many generations. I was just thinking about, yeah, I was talking about that you used to back you out, Hydro Quebec, where we are CPU. Great World River Party, Kalanga, Slu, in New Dalai, the Taman, Katakin, Taununga, Pagoloxim, New York City, Unatamu, Tamang, PU, in your tunic, Tan, Otia, Kunata, in New Lunulu, and a lady pins of Tavin, and the Pilla would love Pinsu Hatti, Yarmagas, Chutti, Olorigal of Miraga. The residents of Wabmaxtu and Kujwarapik, along with the entire Cree nation, came up with a campaign that was world known called Stop James Bay 2. It ultimately helped save the Great Whale River. Since then, the people have continued to live next to the river. But since James Bay 2 was not officially cancelled, there was always the possibility of reopening the project. Presently, the twin communities rely on a diesel power plant that is owned and operated by Hydro-Quebec Distribution to provide electricity and heat for the people of Wabmaxtu and Kujwarapik. In 2011, the Cree of Wabmaxtu held their annual General Assembly. The people voted and approved to develop a hybrid renewable energy project that may include wind, biomass and solar power. This was only the beginning of a long process to ensure further protection to the river, land and the Cree Inuit way of life. <laughs> Good 
tak lagi itu pinjau hati kita kita buat tabu pil lagi untuk orang kau nak kami semua orang mesti mesti jawab orang kat kerja cuma semua ni nunel 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 kini cina ini kan jangan kami semua jangan cina itu ini kan agun dan kajian kau ni asli senti entah dah tu kita jadi nampak susu kita Kian, eh, benda macam ni kan, nak beres biomasa sendiri. Mungkin macam ni dah, coba bisung, bisung cari cut hijau ini juga energy, solar, solar energy sendiri. Agak ni niston ke, ke, ke kamp skema juga. Kalau macam mal, kami ada juga ada ekstern yang juga agak agak pun dah yud sendiri. Kaji ini kan es sendiri, cari cut hijau ini juga, dan, dan nampak susu kita. With this in mind. An ambitious project was created that would provide alternative solutions to creating renewable energy, one that would not destroy any rivers, land, or the Cree Inuit cultural way of life. The goal of Kudrapik Wabmaxtu Renewable Energy Corporation, KWREC, is to design, build, finance, and operate the wind turbines and sell the electricity to Hydro Quebec for the next 25 years. The Agua project to uh, Kudrapik Wabmaxtu Hybrid. Power plant projects and the like. What's this on hybrid? I know it's a good question. We have to check out the biology guys. That's what's that's new. So it's just like so. Told open me out to have to have a diesel power plant here in Hawaii. Oh, and he gets in on us. I have it. It's just hybrid. They're gonna. Then, when it's October, we go to the coast. So we manage to annoy my little bit. That's okay. We're tall. We're tall. We're tall. We're tall. We're tall. ล้วนในเจ้ามากระตุกอีกคนเลี้ยงตัวมันเนี่ยเลี้ยงตัวมันอีกคนจะกลับไหมกิจกิจนี้ฉันเนี่ยเองก็จริงก็เนี่ยส
Included is to improve 4.6 kilometers of an existing road and to construct 2.4 kilometers of a new road to the top of the hill where the wind towers will be installed that will produce 6 gigawatt hours or 6 million kilowatt hours per year. The fate of the project lies with the Korean Inuit of Great Whale River. The community consultations on the environmental and social impacts on the renewable energy project will require participation and feedback from both Wapmaxu and Kujuarapik community members, and support is vital for the KWREC to move forward. This would be the first renewable energy project for the people in the northern remote communities that will reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 40% or more in the fragile ecosystem of the north. This may be a model for future off-grid indigenous peoples and communities.